Yeah, we're go. Okay, we're go. We're a go. There we go. Um, so, uh, before, well, hopefully I won't have to serve the self-imposed ban on IEM reviews after I kind of committed to that um, with my review of the ULIM by Continuum. Um, but I'm pretty confident uh, that it is as good as I think. We'll see. Anyway, but I did promise uh, at the beginning of the weekend that I would give you guys and girls, men, ladies, he, him, her, she, them, they. Just want to don't like don't want to disclude anybody um, because that would not be cool. Anyway, um, back on track. TRN uh, conch um, because. Well, this one came, uh, this idea to get this one came from somebody else, and the only thing I could tell you is that it was, uh, it was one of the members of the um, Bad Guy Good Audio Facebook group, the private group, and this was several weeks ago, and I tried to go back to find who it was to give them due credit, but I could not find it. Um, but one, one of the members on, on that group uh, brought these up and showed a couple of photos and said they're an exceptional value um, and so it intrigued me you know and during the 11 11 sale um, I wanted to try a couple of new things it's, it's funny because like I was about the truth here Nova as well during that sale and um, I was planning and that was gonna be my first re like review of the new things that I got in and that's not what happened, uh, because the Ulim was such a unicorn that I felt compelled to do that one first. And the TRN conch is such an incredible value, I felt compelled to do that one before the Truthier Nova as well. And that's not a knock on the Nova, because the Nova is a great IEM. Uh, and I will review it, but it's gonna wait its turn. Um, right now it's the conch's turn. Um, let's go over uh, specs really quick. Don't want to bore anybody. So it is a uh, dual magnet 10 millimeter DLC diamond light carbon composite diaphragm uh, dynamic driver. It, it's a fancy way of saying it's a single dynamic driver. It's 10 millimeters. Uh, there's tons of them out there. Uh, most of them are pretty good. Uh, this one happens to be really good and also really, really inexpensive uh, for everything that you get. Um, oh, look over to the phone here. Sorry, guys, I got to cheat my 52 year old brain. Um, I have the specs up here. Oh, that's right, it was on Ali. That's that's where I bought it from. AliExpress. There we go. Okay, so yes. Um, first and foremost, comes with a uh, 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 not composite. Come on. Uh, what do you call it? It's a cable that does more than one uh, termination. I can't believe I'm losing this word right now. I might have to redo that. No, you know what, forget, I'm just moving forward. Um, the cable is modular and it does 4.4 uh, Pentacon. It does your 3.5 single ender and uh, 2.5 balance as well. So if you have a setup with that, uh, you're in luck here. For that, That's the first thing that impressed me is that this is a $35 IEM, by the way, that includes a modular cable with it. You also get um, these guys here, different nozzles for different tunings. Uh, transparency, which is blue. Um, the atmospheric immersion, which is red. And the black ones, which are currently in there right now, are the reference tips and I take that to mean that they're probably the most balanced of the three. Um, they're not easy to trade out, but you know, it's something to play with. Um, I didn't find that they improved or got worse with any different, uh, you know, nozzle setup on them. Um, now if you mix the nozzles, yeah, that, that doesn't sound too great. But anyway, uh, they, they seem to be pretty, you know, pretty solid across the boards. You know, the transparency, that was a little bit more treble. The immersion was just a little bit um, sort of softer, but uh, fuller overall feel to it. And the reference, I just like the reference. I just like the way it sounds because it's, it's very balanced and that's kind of what I dig. Um, 30 ohm impedance, 
and two pin uh, termination on the um, earphones themselves sensitivity is 114 um, yeah so they're, they are pretty sensitive there is no problem with running these off of your phone and that's kind of one of the things that I, I look for especially in less expensive IEMs because not everybody wants to go out and put you know 150 or 200 dollar uh, investment into an amp portable or desktop um, to make their their IEM run at its best you know possible you know performance uh, these don't require that which is nice so when I had the 3.5 on it um, I just hooked it straight up to the iPhone worked great um, this is not inexpensive either but the, the Muse Hi-Fi M3 uh, Mark II or V2 um, was fantastic uh, with these you actually could detect a, a wider sound stage and definitely a, a more a more immersive feel to it even with the standard uh, the standard nozzles in um, I'll do a review on this but that's that's hot man that's that's great um, back to the conch the conch uh, very ergonomic it's a metal shell fingerprint magnet who cares I don't care do you care probably not um, yeah these these go in stay in um, and disappear and that's that's what I like uh, you know when when I am you don't feel them after a while they're just playing music for you uh, that's what these do um, the tips are are great I mean you know they're nothing like crazy special but the fact that they're high quality um, this is a little bit like a spring tip from Moondrop um, you know these are a little bit more run-of-the-mill but uh, they work just fine uh, especially on these if you want just a shade more on the base and a little less trouble and then if you want to really knock the trouble down you can put the foams on I've given up on foams at this point and I've had comply and I've had Dakoni and you know some generics and I, I think that um, I just like more trouble now than I did when I first started so I don't typically use foams anymore although they are fantastic for isolation so noisy environment I might go back to the foams for that situation for that use case as we say now uh, but yeah the uh, you know the exchange of the tips is pretty easy you know it's um, just you know it's hard to screw it up which is good because I like to screw things up but they go on come off very easy not so easy that you're worried about it coming apart and uh, the connectors here for the wire on this end I haven't even taken these off but yeah it's got the recess two pin which is pretty solid it's a, it's a nice way to have the termination but you don't get as many cable options um, with this but the thing is you don't need it because this table this cable is totally kick-ass I mean it's really really high quality uh, you know as well as being modular um, so there's no need to cable swap in this set at all um, you know, got your chin slider works great you've got your tips whatever your preference they're in there you've got your nozzles to screw around with the uh, the tone uh, you know the the tuning a bit which is great um, and your you know metal pretty you know maybe not watertight but maybe watertight case um, and a booklet and you know a nice a nice box I mean this isn't this is you know way more than I think you would expect from getting a $35 IEM I, I paid 26 because they were on sale um, for 11 11 and yes I did have to wait over three weeks for them to arrive and I was complaining about it at one point on another video and I'm not it, it's it's coming from freaking China or I think in my case it was the Netherlands um, and it, it's coming by boat and um, we just don't have any patience anymore because between Amazon and Best Buy and Walmart uh, we're used to getting everything in like two days maybe three maybe three at the outside but everything comes so fast now that like three weeks seems like an eternity and you know I calculated how much I saved by shopping their 1111 sale and between the SMSL DL200 the TRN Conch and the uh, Truthier Nova I saved over a hundred dollars so that's worth the wait right 
I mean, maybe if it was just these and it was nine, I would have just like, uh, okay, I'll just get them from Amazon and eat the nine dollars. But the thing is, I was ordering the Truth Ears anyway, and I wanted to try a different brand of DAC amp, and that was on sale. So you know, I put together the order. I had to wait over three weeks, but what you know, whatever, it, it's fine. It came. Everything works great. There was no damage. There was no issue. Nothing got lost. Everything works wonderfully. So. You know, if you've got some patience, then depending on what you're getting and when you're getting it, um, AliExpress is not a bad place to order from. Um, I will say one thing though, if you can, order from the official stores. So TRN has an official store, Truthier has an official store, SMSL has an official store. It's your best chance of getting legit, not, you know, like knockoff or fake product. Um, that's that's my only advice that and patience so a little plug for aliexpress there um and i will link uh in the description i'll link uh these guys to them in the smsl and the truth there so you know because you never know when the next sale is going to be um they happen fairly often it seems like uh sound signature on these guys well let's see i would call it uh warm neutral uh with a little sparkle up top um, not huge amounts of uh, resolution or, or detail retri retrieval, but um, I think they're competent in those categories. Soundstage is pretty solid too. It, it's got some width, and it's got some depth and height. Um, again, it's not, you know, it, it's not a two hundred and fifty dollar IM. It's thirty five bucks. For thirty five bucks, it performs really, really well in just about every aspect. The bass is solid, maybe rolls off just a little bit on the sub bass, but there, there's still a little rumble there. You know, it's not absent. Um, mids are clean. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if I would call this totally V-shaped, maybe a mild V-shape, because there, there's definitely good energy and presence to the mids. Um, but they, they do take a backseat a little bit to the, to the bass and to the treble. Um, but that's what we tend to like. So can understand why they tuned it that way um but what really impressed me is that you know i've got the metal i'm, I'm going to do the, the the metal like mayhem review where i do the east six from muse hi-fi versus the um shangling sono uh versus the ea 500 um because i, I sim got you know because i think that would be kind of a fun thing they're all pretty close in price but and pretty close in, in, in sound quality and fairly close in sound signature. But these things are really, really close to them. And they're less than half the price or half the price of the three sets that I just mentioned. And none of the three sets I just mentioned comes with a modular cable or like super nice tips like these clear silicone ones are super nice tips. Like I, my my intention when I got this was to basically strip it for parts. I was going to take the cable and put it on a different set of IMs. I was going to take the tips and put those on a different set of IMs because I didn't expect them to sound as good as they do. But they do. They do, you know, and it, it's really funny to me. I mean, this speaks a lot, I think, because like I said, my intention was absolutely 100% to give everybody my, you know, the, the 18th take on the uh, Truth Air Nova, you know, for whatever it was worth. That was my intention. This weekend's project was going to be, let's do a Truth Air Nova review. And that is coming. I promise it will be coming. And yes, I'm mostly in agreement of what has been said, including about the uh, cable, which was replaced very quickly. Um, but these two, the ULIM and the CONCH, just, I don't know. They just they were just more exciting. I knew what I was getting with the Nova. I didn't know what I was getting with the CONCH or the ULIM. And what I got was kind of blown away. Uh, definitely blown away by the ULIM. And for its price, totally blown away by the CONCH, which I wasn't, I was, which was going to go in a box and I was going to, keep the cake you know like I said strip it for parts um, but now you know I just want to hear more so I guess that says something 
I'm not sure what. I guess I like it pretty well. Um, for this review, I think we're done. Um, I will link the TRN Conch uh, both to AliExpress and to Amazon because I believe they're available on both in the description. And I thank you all again for tuning in. And um, we'll see you... Well, I'll probably end up doing the Nova this weekend anyway. So we'll see you soon. I hope you guys are having a great holiday season. And uh, hope you and all of your loved ones and friends are well. All right. We'll see you soon. Peace. And I can't turn this off.